And in fact, we've closed off sentence line number four, and we've closed off sentence number five. So you see the pattern. We close this off, and then we close its results off, and we've closed this off. So we've done all the operations on that. Now we're going to decompose. We're going to go to line two and decompose the next step. So for line 11, we'll skip down just a little ways, and we go like this. On line 11, we have T and not R. T and not R. And not the case that R and S. Not the case, parenthesis, R and S. Now, where did that come from? Line two, disjunction, decomposition. We say those are the two possibilities. Let's name them out and try them. So that's line 11. Line 12. T, of course, and if we want to just skip ahead a little, we'll go to line 13 and say not R, because we can do that decomposing those. And what we would do is we wouldn't do any operations on this line right here. We would go like that so that our rule column over here only refers to one step at a time. So when we have multiple branches we have to work out, we just would skip those lines for that set of branches over here. So line 12, the justification coming across, would be from line 11, ampersand, decomposition. Okay, line 13, line 14 we start out and go over here. But let's look at this branch now. So we've got not R, and up here we got not R, so we're fine. we got T, but up here we've got not T claimed twice. So we know that ends in contradiction. We'll just draw a big X so we know contradiction. It's no good. Now let's look at line 14. What did we decide to do here? We get not not R because we're decomposing our ampersand. Not, not, R, and here we get S and not T, S and not T. Move this eraser up here for a second. So we've gotten all the way to atomic sentences here. Line 15 is going to be R because it's not considered atomic if it's got two negations. So we get all the way to R. And we got a not R claim here, so there's a contradiction on line 15 in that branch. How about this one? Line 15 uh, and 16 is going to be decomposing it into S and T. Uh, and then we've decomposed that and that. And we decompose that here decompose that. We haven't, however, decomposed that. Oh yes, we've decomposed that. Right. So now we're going to go to, from line 11, our negated ampersand decomposition. Now, just wrap over to the other board, mentally now. So we're coming down, we've got S and not T turns into S and not T. So S and not T turns into S and not T. And then we're going to decompose from line 11 the negated conjunction. Negated conjunction decomposition coming from line 11. And we get, of course, if it is not the case that R and S, then the two possibilities are either not R or not S. So not R and not S. Now we can go up just a little ways and find S here and not S. So, oops, contradiction there. And we have R, a claim of R failing. R fails. Let's trace up through here. Oh, look, R fails. We're fine. So this is S. It's fine there. T, negation T, that's all fine. 
and we get down here to R failing, R fails here, so we're fine. This is actually an open branch. So this, this set could be true if R is not true. If R fails, this set could be true. All other truth value assignments we saw ended in contradictions. So that was a nice little 18 line whopper. All right, so I apologize for some of that footage where some of this was out of focus. But um, you can go for my verbal cues and get what we were doing. I hope.